With Amazon Web Services being the largest public cloud provider in the world today, there's a huge advantage in leveraging their services. They've enabled you to get to market much faster with your infrastructure and spin up resources much quicker. However, there's some unique challenges with Amazon Web Services, as well as significant opportunities if you know how to leverage those challenges to your advantage. Amazon, for example, provides you a fantastic tool of viewing your infrastructure through their CloudWatch service. With that, you have the capability of seeing your infrastructure, where it's provisioned, as well as how is that infrastructure performing. However, one of the challenges with CloudWatch and Amazon is really your application and operating system. Amazon doesn't provide you visibility into the operating system and application because those are choices that you need to make and how you manage your operating system and application is your responsibility. But how do you go about doing that? That becomes one of the challenges that you face as an IT operations manager is understanding the security and visibility into that operating system and application. Amazon Web Services, because of their wide region deployment across the globe and their multiple availability zones within each of those regions, provides a fantastic opportunity to help ensure you mitigate your risk of your application and service delivery, not only from a resiliency perspective, but then also delivering your service and application to that end user much faster. However, one of the challenges with that is, are you really mitigating your risk? Have you really put all your eggs in one availability zone or one region for that matter? Does your application need to get closer to an individual end user based upon the costs associated with that? Ultimately, that's one of the challenges that you face in being able to have a tool and a solution to provide you that level of visibility to ensure you've deployed things to mitigate your risk. Amazon Web Services provides a fast and quick, efficient way to deploy services quickly, especially for test and dev environments. You want to be able to deploy things fast, test out solutions, and rip and replace and move to production as quickly as possible. It's a fantastic feature that Amazon provides. However, as we all know, as we're trying to get services into market faster, we end up sometimes forgetting and leaving legacy infrastructure behind, which essentially creates cloud sprawl for you and orphaned instances and orphaned services. How do you know which infrastructure has been left behind or is still in production? And being able to see those assets and who they belong to becomes a unique challenge, but also an opportunity if you have a tool and solution to solve that problem.